Funko Rebel, your host with the most. Welcome to my channel. On tonight's unboxing, I have a very special mail from Mr. Awesome. This is the Star Wars Snuggle Bounty Box from August 2019. He actually went and found my uh, Amazon wish list and ordered the Snuggle Box. And it came to me and I said, you know what, I'm going to open it up and see what's inside and I'll do a video for you guys hey why not right so we're gonna open up the the bounty box uh, I believe this was the bounty hunter or the pod race one uh, so we're gonna open it up see what's inside uh, I believe there's a one or two Funko products in here it could be a t-shirt or shot glasses or uh, luggage tags so we'll open it up see what we got and see what it is I never got these before uh, this is says coming soon from Amazon you were only able to order them after a while through Amazon before a Funko shop used to have them and it was a monthly subscription so you would get them every each month I think it cost about $40 shipped off $35 plus shipping I'm not too sure uh, so he got this off of my wish list, which was uh, $39, but it could be, I could be wrong. They might have went on sale because I know I just ordered myself one from Marvel. Uh, I think this was the Christmas theme one, the Infinity Gauntlet one. Um, actually should have been here the other day, but when I went outside to get it, it wasn't outside. So I had to call Amazon. Uh, of course, they didn't have my t-shirt size anymore, which was 3X. Uh, I'm not a Marvel guy, but since it is Christmas themed, I figured I'd get it so I could wear the t-shirt around Christmas or towards Christmas. Uh, of course, they didn't have the size anymore. They had all the extra large, so I ordered it anyway. The t-shirt will go to my nephew. I will keep the items. I believe that came with shot glasses, which now they call it toothpick holders. We really know it's not toothpick holders. We use it for shots, right? Right, guys? So, yeah. We use that for shots. I don't use it as a toothpick holder. The toothpick holders come with a holder anyway when you buy it at the stores now. I mean, it's cheap plastic, but really, who takes it out of the plastic to put it in the shot glass to make it look like you're a real adult and have something in the kitchen as a decoration? We use those as shot glasses because we need to drink here once in a while. So let's open this up. Let's see what we got inside. That's crazy. Okay, I think this has a t-shirt. Yes, it does. Okay, this is the pod racer, pod racer one. Uh, hopefully it's my size. I didn't even check the front before I opened it. Yes, it is. It's a 3X. All right. Thank you, Mr. Awesome. Let's open up the T-shirt. It's a baby blue. Brings out the beard in me. It's a pretty cool shirt. Uh... It looks like it has Anakin Skywalker, Pod Racing, Musa Aspen Grand Arena, Tutuine, Anakin Skywalker t shirt. This is pretty cool. It's actually my size. Uh, blue looks good on me. Let's move on to the next thing before we start doing a modeling career, which I don't think I will make enough anyway. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there's two pops. Feel like a tag next thing is looks like oh cool it's a uh anakin skywalker star wars uh pot racing pin this is pretty cool it's got a nice weight to it let's open it up get a closer look uh if you guys noticed i have a subscription box to zanini pins if you haven't gotten anything from zanini pins don't wait any longer Go in my bio, click the link, subscribe to Zanini Pigs. You will not be disappointed. Their pins are pretty good. So this is the Anakin Skywalker Pod Racing. Has two pin backs in the back to secure your pin. It's pretty cool. It's got the Star Wars uh, information in the back. It's pretty cool. It's pretty heavy. Mr. Awesome, I'm starting to like the box. I will put his information in my bio too, so you can go and follow him, subscribe to his channel. 
make sure you follow Mr. Awesome. He was uh, in Florida right now. Um, he just had a baby. Uh, so head on over to Mr. Awesome. Congratulate him on him having a baby girl. Um, I actually uh, went to his wish list and I sent him something. So he should be getting something in the mail by August 5th. I know he's going to do a video. Uh, so make sure you follow him. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Subscribe, turn on the notifications. Like, comment, share the videos. But also make sure you follow Mr. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else we have? Looks like we have two pops. I don't know what's in these boxes. So your guess is good as mine. I, I, I haven't seen them. I haven't peeked to them. So we're going to pull out... Uh, what we have usually if they had these boxes it would have been dc which i got and i'm pretty upset because they discontinued the uh dc uh boxes i don't know why uh maybe dc didn't want them to have the contract or the contract was only for that year and they stopped making those those things but here we have uh, aura zing she uh if you guys seen her she was in the upper deck in the pod racer and you actually see it um she was right after uh just a small cameo it wasn't that big um i don't think they have a black series of her yet uh but i know back in the day they did make the star wars box they had a book and they had a figure of her i think it was like a pre hot toys i had her i uh, sold it while i was uh moving uh, i needed some big items to be gone so i could have less to pack uh, but this is her pretty much we're gonna open her up to see what she looks like a little closer i'm pretty happy there's no damage with inside i gotta see the second pop okay in the background, it does have um, Qui-Gon Jinn, which was a New York Comic-Con exclusive, and General Grievous was a um, Walgreens exclusive, which he was pretty much sitting on the shelves, and certain Walgreens didn't get that many, and now he is a Funko Pop that is a must-have, and his value jumped up. I did meet the actor who voiced General Grievous. I actually have an action figure of him signed, of course, with my name, a little smudged, so the pen was fresh. But I did meet him. He was pretty cool. I think his name was Matt. Again, this is a, um, a bobblehead like usual. She has her gun, like she was in the cameo in the movie. She's got some like type of antenna on top, ponytail normal star wars base uh she's got her bounty hunter um gun she is part of the bounty hunter but she wasn't really used much and we haven't seen her since the pod race i think she appears in one more cameo in one of the movies I'm not 100 percent sure that i wasn't really looking for her at that time of the movies but I would have really loved to see her have a bigger part in the movies other than that little cameo at the pod racing in Phantom Menace. Um, I know during the pandemic they were playing all the movies uh, of Star Wars. So that was pretty cool. Kept you busy for a while. Uh, let's see how much she's worth. I don't know if she's vaulted or not. Okay, there's one more pop, moving it over. Okay, from here, last pop, we have Saboba. He was the gentleman, well, not gentleman, the alien who sabotaged Anakin Skywalker's pod racing pod and caused Anakin uh, to have a malfunction, which he ended up getting out of the trouble he ends up crashing and basically cursing in his language to Anakin Skywalker. Anakin Skywalker proved that he was the best pod racer ever and wasn't able to crash this pod racing once um, Qui-Gon Jinn was there. 
Um, so let's get a closer look at this bad boy. This. Saboba, up close. His goggles are down. He has a. He uses his top arms to walk. He uses his feet as hands. So he's basically all backwards. He's one of the bad guys. He's, I believe, one of uh, Jabba's uh, Hut's pilots, pod racing. And then you don't see him anymore after any other movies. Uh, I think you see like his cousins or other species like him uh, throughout the movies but not much that weren't used he did have a good part in the movie phantom menace but then after that you didn't see him anymore uh, so this is the snuggle box august 2019 box thank you mr awesome for the awesome gift i just needed to do the unboxing video um, please follow Mr. Awesome. I will link his information in the bio of this video. Go over and subscribe to him. And uh, support your local comic shops. Your local restaurants. Basically support your small businesses. Respect each other. Uh, this is Funko Rebel reporting to my base. Stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, turn on the notifications. Have a good night.